When I first started elite coding, I couldn't even solve two sum in a brute force way. I sat there reading the solutions over and over, and I still couldn't even understand the solutions themselves. But over my one and a half years of studying leak code and around 200 problems solved, I slowly found out that there is a way to improve and get better at this painful practice we call leak code. In this video, I'm going to share with you exactly what you need to know to improve your leak code solving capabilities. My name is Bradley Allen, and I hope you get a lot of value from this video because this is one of those videos that I wish I had when I was younger and trying to solve these types of things a year and a half ago. So let's get right into it. Before starting leak code, you must know data structures and algorithms, just as every other YouTuber has said in the past, except I'm going to tell you, you don't need to know data structures and algorithms, a summary. You need to know it. I'm talking the what data structures are, the exact ones, I'm about to list them out, and the exact algorithms. So I'm gonna list out these data structures and if you don't know something about them, you need to go back and you know study and get like grind on it. So arrays, hash maps, linked lists, sets, queues, stacks, graphs, trees, and binary search trees. You need if you know if you don't know one thing or something about these that I just listed. Okay, you need to st take a step back from leak coding and understand them. And what I'm talking about is you need to know the time complexity of insertion, deletion, those operations on each data structure, and how to do it in your language. So if you don't know those two, take a step back, go get on, hop on Geeks for Geeks, and start learning step by step those data structures. Because I know a lot of classes and a lot of courses, they teach the data structure themselves, but they do not explain how to code the data structures okay if you don't know how to traverse a linked list in your language then you're you're not going to be able to understand solutions in those language next algorithms you have data structures and algorithms so when we're talking algorithms we're talking the most known stuff on those data structures so you need to know like for example you have an array you need to know two pointers binary searching for linked lists you need to know tortoise and hare and for graphs you need to know dijkstra's if you don't know these things in the back of your mind before you even hop on leak code you're doing yourself a disservice you need to do you need to understand and know these things just bite the bullet and do it because this is what's going to let you solve these leak code problems yourself this underlying knowledge you need to know before you can even read the solutions and improve on data structures and algorithms is your baseline and leak code is the the building on top of that foundation that you're building okay and the roof that's the in, uh, that's the interview okay you're practicing for the interview so we're gonna build this house you need to build this house very sturdy like the three little pigs out of bricks all right so this takes a bit of time but once you understand data structures and algorithms like I said you will be able to understand the majority of the solutions that you're reading. You know how you're going through leak code and you're looking at the solutions like, oh, this used uh, O of N uh, time complexity and they're like, they're putting a whole bunch of stuff together. If you don't know, like say for example, you have a binary search tree problem and they put up the solution, but if you don't know that the left of the parent node is for values lesser than the parent and the right is for great values greater than the parent you're gonna be like you're not gonna understand a step and you won't understand the solution and you'll be well I almost had a sneeze but you will end up understanding the solution itself and trying to remember the syntax but you won't understand the solution and intuition on how to come up with it your own self and this is the point I want to get across with this video there are many ways to learn data structures and algorithms, but I suggest you learn them with the language. This makes connections between the data structure and the language that you're programming with. You know, you're, you're learning, say you just you just found out about linked lists and you're like, okay, you go from one node to another node only one way. Like you need to know, for example, in C++, you do node.next, okay? And you, you know the head, and in C++ is always symbolized as head. So these things, if you learn that the data structure with a language, you're going to be good. You're going to set and, and this makes it to where you can visualize it in your head, 
you visualize it in your head and you're like okay linked list and you think about it and you can see it in your brain because it's all it's very simple if you understand you have to have the visuals in your head dumb it down for yourself you know write it out with a piece of paper when you think of hash map what do you think of I think of two sections like key value key value linked list I always think about the circles with the arrows these are the tips in your brain because when you're solving problems you start to visualize and it gets easier so after you learn data structures and algorithms we then go to the next step called leak coding okay when we start leak coding in order to actually see improvements you need to solve the problems based off a topic for example I would only start with solving array problems at first okay and solving problems based on that topic array array is a topic and you go through solving from starting from easy and then you go to medium and then you go to hard but if you can't solve a problem say for example you're solving an easy problem if you can't solve it in 10 minutes or you don't or you just don't even know where to start look at the solution okay you look at the solution draw it out draw out the solution and really understand how this guy's doing it and you know like if there's two pointers draw two different colors or you know with your pen pointing at each step what's happening after you do this you then code it up based on this this three step right here after 10 minutes you can't do this and you draw the solution code it up and submit that's where the improvement is if you skip these steps and just copy and paste the solution and submit you're not doing any learning the learning is when you do this over and over and over with different problems and you start to realize oh I can solve array problems problems maybe I should uh, this I, I've never seen this array problem but earlier today or earlier when I was grinding there was a two pointer solution let me try to do this with this problem that's where the learning happens that's how you solve these problems by yourself you just throw things at it and hope it sticks like oh I solved the linked list problem using tortoise and hare let me try to do that with this one but then you know do this because this problem needs this it that that's leak coding okay this is the, the this is putting the points together and trying what you have done to so, try to solve what you haven't done okay once you feel comfortable solving problems in these subtopics you then move on to the next and on to the next this is your learning phase okay the learning uh, leak code and learning and grinding is not the same as preparing preparing for interviews because when you're doing the learning you'll, you'll start to see patterns and you'll start to be able to solve more and more problems and so I have a video that shows you how to start leak code as a beginner it's just a rundown on how what leak code is I'll link it up here in the description and a little card that you can click on but if you want to improve you have to consistently solve problems every single day at least one problem a day this is just like going to the gym it's always harder starting going to the gym or starting to work out than it is to you just get into the routine and do it same goes with leak code you have to start leak code just bite the bullet and after you know every day solving leak code leak code leak code you'll you'll just it's just becomes easier it's just something you do even if you don't like it but if you consistently solve problems I'm sure 100% you'll be able to solve these problems by yourself with no help or at least get halfway done and start to build this intuition in your brain of how to do this stuff but if you are nearing an interview this is a whole different ball game okay what I was talking about just now was grinding leak code okay preparing for an interview is different you're reviewing all the skills that you have learned putting it in your RAM in your brain okay you you're, you've already grinded you've already learned now preparing for an interview you are reviewing and reviewing and reviewing and solving problems that you know just to remember remember and when you come to the interview you're gonna be so loaded of information of all that grinding that you've done like oh yeah I remember I remember when you go for the interview you will crush it because you've already learned the stuff in the past those grinding months are done that's why it was so hard you, it was hard but now you're just PRing with your personal record with an interview Okay, you're taking all that knowledge that you learned and you're solving it for an interview because at the end of the day you're leak coding most likely most likely to pass an interview and so if you have this mindset in your head in your brain when you're grinding and you always remember like okay why am I doing this is to improve my ability to code and pass the interview you'll be good 
and always keep a positive mindset when you're trying to grind with these leak code problems because they can get you down you know not being able to solve these problems over and over and over it will get you down but you just got to think of the the long-term goal and the cherry or carrot at the end of the stick okay the light at the end of the tunnel this is just a quick video I wanted to make on why you can't solve leak code problems you have to in summary you need to start at the base foundation which is DSA data structures and algorithms learn that all the way like the back of your hand it's one of those things you can't get rid of if you're gonna be participating in coding interviews you just bite the bullet understand that stuff really understand it then you practice what you understand with leak code okay leak code leak code leak code you build in that house that foundation is data structures the walls are leak code and the roof is the interview okay at the end of the interview you showcase what you learned what you've done how much you practice and how much you understand all that stuff that you train for. So guys, if you got some value out of this video, like it, share some tips down below of leak code, you know, tips that you know, and subscribe. And I will see y'all guys in the next one. Peace.